feel like I always start in here. It's really good light. <laughs> I am getting sick of having to set alarms <laughs> and wake up and go to things first thing in the morning. This is my third day in a row having to go to an appointment. I haven't really done my hair. I haven't figured out what I want to do with it. But I get to go for my ultrasound scan today, the ones that you, we get paid for, or models for, and guess what they're gonna scan on me? My, my neck, my thyroid, which is they're gonna find it's probably a problem <laughs> because I haven't gotten it checked in a long time. But they're also checking my breast, my breastage. That's what they're gonna test their ultrasound scans on, and I'm going to have a lot of material for them <laughs> to check. <laughs> and I'm comfortable um, making my own jokes about my own chest. I know there's a lot there. So, I, I think that was a hot dog. What was that? that was <gasps> oh, I almost threw away Cafe Rio sauce. I thought that was an old hot dog bun. not a good move. I might actually just have that with like chips. Sorry about that. Battery died. <laughs> Gotta come find a charger and a new battery. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, all jokes aside, I do get nervous when these ultrasound scans are more invasive. I've had, I've had my chest examined before and it wasn't actually that bad because they, I, I had a gown on, but literally they only, they only scanned like right here. So it wasn't actually invasive, but they pay for invasive if they say that they're scanning a breast, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, it's more money. So I agree to it, but I'm hoping it's like that this time because one of the last invasive ones that I did, I think I've said this before, probably when I went and did this there were 10 or 12 people in the room <laughs> and I guess that's the same if you have like something go wrong at the doctor and or the hospital and there's like 10 people in the room it's just kind of a little nerve-wracking because there's only so many of them that are actually medically trained others are just techie people they're just like software designers or I don't know what I'm doing they're not actual doctors they're just there to like improve the software on <laughs> the ultrasound machine. And a lot of them are from Korea or from China, which probably is not going to be the case this time around because not much travel is happening. But um, it's a little, you know, not intimidating, but oddly embarrassing <laughs> to say the least. So I might actually have some banana bread and then I have to leave here in about 15 minutes and go i'm actually now that i am up and going put you guys down here up and going places in the mornings now i need to stay closer to home and monitor ashley she was just five minutes late for her class today because she couldn't look at her ipad and see the time and for whatever reason the alexa yes i'm speaking to you alexa you didn't you didn't do our alarms today Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she didn't do any of the kids' school alerts today, so luckily they just are on the ball for the most part, but I'm just having a breakfast drink in case you're wondering what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go have my chestage examined. I'm kind of nervous. I'm really nervous, actually. It's, a little, it's intimidating. Okay, there we go. Good luck. I'm a little nervous still. I don't like having to expose myself for medical reasons even. Off. They're 
like <laughs> turned. So I ran into Marshall's really quick because the kids are at recess and uh, why not? So I went in for, all right, so you always have a somewhat of a goal when you go into Marshall's or home, it's Marshall's Home Goods, same difference. Went in for uh, mascara. I, I don't really care except I can't have, I think it's Maybelline of any kind because I'm somehow allergic to all of those kinds. So my eyes just go nuts. So I just got like a simple one, $2.99, $3.99. It's not a big deal. And then I found this, it's by e.l.f. It's a Moisture Lock Primer. Something, I just need something a little bit better than what I've been using. I don't know if that's gonna be any better. And then I got two shirts. They were on clearance, one of them was on clearance for $8. And this one is just, it's just a t-shirt. I like the color. It's a little bit stretchy, just, I always like them when they're a little bit longer and kind of curved in the back. They just flow with my body better. You know, curves and all. Um, and then I just, I don't know if I can be able to like show this one very well, except for the front is kind of cute, how it has the little button right there in the front. I like the flowers, and then it has a little bit longer, like three quarter sleeve, but I like the little button detail it's just when I go out with, you know, Jason on date night or girls night out, I like to wear something that's like, not just like a t-shirt or whatever. And I kind of want to ask Jason out on a little date. We haven't gone out out for a while since our, really our vacation. And um, it'd be nice to like find a restaurant that we can eat outside at night and that's cool, but nice. And I don't know, the weather's just really good. And, uh, I'd like to do that, but I think he's doing a guy's night with our friend that just moved and another guy. My glasses feels like it is caught. Also, ignore the hair situation. I didn't do it today. Um, but then I had to bribe Ashley um, is doing better at doing her homework, like better, as in there's four homework assignments in her seesaw right now, three of which are writing assignments from Tuesday, Wednesday, and now Thursday. <laughs> And she does, does not want to write a poem. Doesn't understand what poems are. We tried to trick her and, not trick her, but like tease her and tell her to write a poem about Kaylee and her boyfriend. She liked that idea. She giggled and she was trying to figure it out but doesn't know how to rhyme words. And so I told her to get on to her call this afternoon with her teacher, which is what she's supposed to do and talk about these poems that she's supposed to turn in. So. Um, I told her if she at least did one of those poems and her other homework assignment that's currently in there, then I would get her a treat. But if she legit does not, I'm not giving it to her today. She is going to bug me about it. She's feisty, but I'm not going to give in. And I'm not going to eat them either. I don't, I mean, I'll nibble on a gummy bear if they have them, but like, I'm not tempted to open it and eat the whole bag. It's not my thing, so... Anyway, I'm gonna head back home and make sure Ashley came home from lunch. Again, she has a different lunch schedule now than Chelsea does, so it's kind of a thing. So, let's go back home. Mary Care Clinics. They are at designated... All right, if you are over the age of 40, first of all, give it a like. Put a comment down below. We are fellow over 40 sisters. <laughs> If you're a fella out there, hello, but this is mainly a conversation for the females. <laughs> anyway, regardless, I'm on a mission today and things are just working out in terms of scheduling and finding new doctors and getting in contact with old doctors, you guys. I It's my year to like take care of myself, I guess. It kind of like mildly freaked me out when, you know, they said there's a little goiter on my thyroid. I don't know if I've said that to you guys if I have admitted that yet. When they did the ultrasound scan today, not only is my thyroid enlarged, which I knew probably was the case, I have not taken care of my thyroid in years. I have not done my medication for it. I already know what kind of medication is levothyroxine and I have not taken it for many years. <laughs> so I need to get that checked out. So my worry was that I would need a referral for that and I don't have a primary care doctor because I just 
just haven't gone to the doctor. So then I was like, well, maybe my OB will give me a referral because she won't do my thyroid anymore that I'm not having, now that I'm not having kids. So then I remembered, oh, I should probably do an OB appointment and a mammogram. So I'm on a, I have been on a good mission today. So not only did I schedule my OB appointment, just a regular follow-up, it's been many years since I have done one. You actually can go longer between appointments, especially after you've stopped having kids, and I think the last one was like, I could go three years in between appointments. I think it's been maybe four since my last appointment, but regardless, I made that appointment. Then I found out, I found an endocrinologist at the same hospital, and I called them, and they said, as long as you're a patient within the hospital system, we can make an appointment for you. You don't need a referral, which is fabulous news. I think that's what's been catching me up. Like, I, I knew I would possibly need a referral, and I, it's like you have to schedule four different doctor appointments to get a referral, but I didn't. So I have the endocrinologist scheduled to get my thyroid in check. I have an OB scheduled to get that figured out, just to make sure everything is all working great. It always has been. But hopefully at that appointment, I will be able to schedule um, the mammogram and get that taken care of. We found out from Abby's doctor just now about her, oh, the liver. She said, I'm not too worried about it. She said, there's a lot of things that you can see. Oh, who earned their treat? Show them your treat. How happy are you to get that treat? Daddy. Happy? Yeah. Did you get all your homework done though? Yeah. Tell the folks what you have to do. Writing. Writing, writing and nothing else. And acts of kindness, right? So maybe you should do an act of kindness and share some gummy worms or bears. Is it bears? Gummy bears. With your sister? She already got like many, really I know. candy. <laughs> Maybe with Abby. You need to think of an, an act of kindness today and go do it. I've done one. Did you mark it in your assignment? Yes. Okay, go for, think of another one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, so Abby's liver. Uh, the doctor's like, there's a lot you can see on an ultrasound scan and sometimes it's just that it's nothing. She said, why don't we just run blood work on her liver in general and then if something pops up, then we'll go ahead and order an ultrasound. But she said, I literally saw her in the office two days ago, so I'm not worried about her. I didn't see any symptoms from her that would be alarming. I did a full, she did a full physical, basically, because when they, you know, they're older and they have to have a full exam. So she didn't see anything in person two days ago that would be alarming. So we're gonna do blood work next week for Abby and make sure that she's okay. So in some ways, these ultrasound scans are kind of coming in handy for us because it's kind of giving us like a little, a free sneak peek <laughs> at our bodies to like figure out if we need to get something checked. Also, before I was even home for my scan, they texted me and said, hey, can we get Kaylee in for a scan? They're doing a test on this equipment um, for pediatrics. And so they're trying to get every age group and the lady that I work with in scheduling these appointments, she's like, dude, your kids check every single age group box that we need. And I was like, keep asking for them then. Cause literally they have teens and preteens and kids and anyway. So my kids are um, probably, I probably will get Chelsea and Ashley scheduled here within the next week if that's the case with them. Um, I'm babbling a lot, but it's a good thing because Kaylee is probably out of money. And since she gets paid and we don't need to have them purchase anything themselves right now, um, in terms of like in the past, we've made them save up their plane tickets to go to Hawaii. I think we'll have um, points to be able to cover that next time we go. They, we have a long time before we're going to Hawaii, so they don't really need to save up for that. So I told her on the phone, cause she's hesitant to do these scans cause it's, it's kind of like a doctor appointment. If you don't need to go, why go? But I told her how much she'd earn and she's like, oh, <laughs> And that's a lot of money for you laying on a bed for an hour. And I was like, yeah, and letting someone scan your belly, like literally like this much of your belly gets scanned. And she'll earn like 75 to $100. And she's like, so I can just take my phone and listen to my headphones? I'm like, yes, <laughs> and get paid. So she's gonna go next week. It's gonna be a busy week next week with all these appointments, but we are getting on top of our bodies, I guess. And I think the pandemic stopped a lot of, you know, appointments in general, just general checkups. And so kind of getting back into like normal life. So that's a good thing. 